Hello friends, it is Danny. Welcome back to another video. Today I am starting vlog. I almost put up three, two of the booktube games. It is the 8th of February. I have just finished off the ending of the first vlog and I have not done any reading since then because I literally just finished it. It is Friday the 8th and we're starting off with a bang because I'm about to finish a book. I have about a hundred pages left in Five Feet Apart. Oh, I'm loving it so much and I'm just so worried because everything is so good right now and I'm like, you know, it never fails. When everything is good in a book, everything goes to shit. And so I'm just waiting for that second shoe to drop. I'm just waiting for it. I'm not prepared. how I said everything was perfect so everything was gonna go to shit <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm crying <laughs> I'm crying because <laughs> I was reading out in the living room but it was it was too much it was too much and so I had to come in here <laughs> and my mom's out there in the living room laughing at me. It's fine. <sighs> I knew. I knew. I knew something was going to happen. And I kind of kind of guessed it from the beginning. <laughs> I had to stop reading. But I think what I think was going to happen has happened and uh, get back to you. <laughs> it was brutal. I have my cat sitting here staring at me like I'm a crazy person, but, um, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not crying as much as I was about 20, 30 pages ago, but I just finished Five Feet Apart by these people. And, oh, brutal. Brutal is stunning and I'm so excited for the movie but I'm not prepared for the movie because now I know what's gonna happen and I'm not ready for that I'm not ready for that but I'm gonna watch it anyways I think it's one of my new favorite books heart man my heart just hurts it just hurts in so many ways yeah I can't describe how much I related to this book and I don't have CF but like I just get it. I, I get the characters. I get how they're feeling because even though I don't have CF, I do have a chronic illness and so like I 100% get how they're feeling. 5 out of 5 stars. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I don't think I can read anything next. Like honestly, I just need, I need a book that's gonna get me out of a slump because this is gonna put me in a slump because it was beautiful. It was not the ending I, I was expecting. I'm kind of glad it wasn't the ending that I was expecting because the ending that I was expecting was just heartbreaking. But like the ending was heartbreaking just in a different way that I kind of anticipated but also didn't want to believe was going to happen but it did. But then also like, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of feelings with this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to read anything else tonight slash this morning. So, I am going to pick up another book tomorrow, today. Someone tell me why I thought uploading a video at 2 o'clock in the morning was a good idea, because it's now almost 3, and it's still not uploaded yet. I've only read nine pages. Yesterday I read absolutely I'm nothing. Away. We had a sleepover at a friend's house. You're doing great. Hey. Oh, I found a Starbucks.
I'm pretty sure I called him Josh Templeton. <laughs> it's Templeman. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'm loving this so much. I love Lucy. I love Josh. <sighs> it's like almost 2 a.m. though, so I think I'm gonna stop here. Page 166, <laughs> chapter 14. I'm gonna update Goodreads, go to bed, wake up, and then continue reading. Good morning, good morning. It is the day of the 10th. I have not vlogged a lot while I've been here. Um, I haven't really been able to film because they're not particularly interested in being in my vlog, which is fine. With that being said, I'm currently sitting here by myself. I have nothing to do other than read and crochet, but I'm reading. I am in chapter 14 of the hating game which i have been loving and i'm loving josh and lucy so much and i love how much he actually cares even though they pretend to hate each other and i find it really interesting that like they have like openly said we're in a hating game we hate each other we're gonna play this game it's a staring game we're gonna play this game it's called how you doing like things like that like it's an actual game to them but like they're falling in love it's cute 66 pages into that and because I'm home alone until like 12 I'm going to start reading this my goal is to finish it I've been reading anything else but here's the problem I think I talked about it last night when I got another email notification that another audiobook was in but I have had holds on a couple different books audiobooks for like months and I was like these books aren't going to come in all at the same time. They're coming in at different times because I'm like number this on the list or number 20 on the list or whatever. And they all came at once. So now I have returned Unfiltered by Lily Collins. I downloaded that one mainly because I like listening to autobiographies as audiobooks. But the problem is I don't really know much about Lily Collins. And I just downloaded it because I had no audiobooks at the time. But I ha only had like 17 days left on it before I had to return it. And I was like, I'm never going to read this. I'm not going to read it if I have all of these other books that I actually want to read. So I returned that one. But now I have Christina Lauren. I have Sawkill Girls. I have Exit West. I now have four audiobooks that I have to listen to in 21 days. Most of the audiobooks are anywhere from like 6 to 10 to 12 hours. Um, except for two of them. One or two of them that are only like three or four hours long. So I've got some work to do. I don't, I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't want to do the work today. What? What's this? Uh oh. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't want to do the work today. I also forgot to mention, but I remembered now, so I'm going to tell you about it. Um, the challenge for this week is to read in an inappropriate place. So, like, read in a setting where you normally wouldn't read, or, like, it doesn't feel acceptable to read there. So, I did that on Friday, and I forgot to count my extra points. So, I'm going to add it in today, because I don't feel like going and editing Friday's goal. Where I read inappropriately is I went to their karate class and instead of watching them beat the shit out of each other because they were doing sparring, I was reading and <laughs> reading the scene in the elevator that like starts the whole like, hey, I might like you, but I also hate you sort of thing. <sighs> and I was reading that. Pretty sure their sensei was about to ask me what I was reading and honestly, if he had have asked me, I would have been like, <laughs> I'm reading sex. It's fine. Well, almost sex, but like it's a very, it's, it's an accurate description, right? That's where I'm getting my 50 pages because <laughs> your girl was reading sexy times at the karate dojo. Whoops! Hello, hi, how are you doing? It is 11.19, almost 11.20. Here's the tea. I just finished The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I think it might be one of my favorite books of all time. I'm obsessed with it. I love Josh so much and I love Lucy so much. She's such a badass independent woman who could stand up for herself and stands up for Josh and ugh, all of the things, all of the things and the steam. Oh, 
the steam. Oh boy. All right. I am going to log it into my bullet journal with my extra 50 pages. Now they're going to start a graphic now for an audiobook. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I've just had a conversation with myself trying to decide what that's going to be. And I don't really know yet. How are you doing? Yes, my face is red. I am aware. It is fine. I have not filmed much yesterday. I filmed a couple of clips, but I didn't really read much. I read like 30 pages of an audiobook. I'm getting some food. I am going to plug my headphones in and listen to my audiobook some more um, and might pick up a graphic novel later. We'll see. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I have just finished Part-Time Princesses by Monica Gallagher. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't amazing. And I didn't like that the artist style was in black and white. I feel like the story would have popped a lot, a lot more if it had have been in color. That being said, I still have to add that to my booktube games tracker and I am about to go have a bath because I want one and I want to get comfortable. I have listened to um, Exit West thus far. I'm like 30 pages in, which is not even like 30 minutes in. Um, so I'm going to listen to more of that, but I'm also going to take a graphic novel in just in case. And what I am taking in is Page by Page by Laura Lee Gillage. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? So it is well past midnight. It's almost 2 a.m. Um, I figured I would fill in my bullet journal before I go to bed. So I have already put in the 165 pages for, um, for reading part-time princesses. And I have my iPad up here where I am just trying to get to my page tracker so that I know the number from yesterday because I forgot to write it in. I'm really enjoying how this bar graph is turning out. Not just in terms of like looks, but also like how it's helping me keep track of things. And I'm very excited to start doing these monthly in my bullet journal just because they, they make me happy to see progress like that. If I don't already have enough books on the go and in my note notebox, my uh, overdrive account and everything. <laughs> I got another notification email tonight telling me that I have another book to download, which I did, but uh, it's not that long. It's Good Morning, Good Night. It's narrated by Lin-Manuel Miranda, which means you know it's going to be good. And so it's just like a cute little book that I heard about through Whitney and it's like kind of like daily affirmations and cute little like, good morning, good night, hey, you're doing good sort of little quotes and because Lynn's narrating it I felt like I just had to download it. Starting to run out of space on this page over here to fill in books that I've read in both spots so I don't know what I'm gonna do once those get filled in. Now that I've filled this in I'm going to get myself into bed. I'm gonna plug in my headphones and maybe listen to part of my audiobook. I don't know. I was falling asleep on the couch, and the last time I listened to my audiobook before falling asleep, I accidentally fell asleep and then had to restart the audiobook. One thing I don't like about Exit West is I don't have a physical copy of it, and I believe it's another book that's in verse. And because it's in verse, it's kind of like how I feel towards Ellen Hopkins' books in the sense that, like, the way she writes her books in verse is not like Sarah Crossan or other books in verse that I've read where like they tell the story point blank like Jason Reynolds all the way down or not all the way down but long way down they tell the story point blank and they just stylize it into in verse whereas like with Exit West and Ellen Hopkins books they kind of like try and use metaphors to explain what's going on and just takes me out of the world and it bothers me like I am 60 pages into Exit West and all I know is that Said and Nadia are like unsure of their relationship while also dealing with the fact that like their world is basically crumbling around them and my goal is to figure out what the hell's happening in that book 
before it's finished. Um, I know the book is 231 pages, so I'm like a quarter of the way through it. I need to update my Goodreads goal. So remember how I said that I wanted to listen to an audiobook for a bit and then fall asleep and not strangle myself with my headphones? Well, your girl woke up with the headphones wrapped around her neck, which is terrifying. I could breathe and everything was fine. They were just kind of wrapped around my neck multiple times and like I, I am literally petrified to use my headphones now when I'm in bed because I keep falling asleep with them on and I do not need to run the risk of strangling myself and I ran into the same thing again where I accidentally fell asleep before stopping the audiobook so the audiobook went completely through again and I had to rewind to where I was so that's cool as you can hear I'm getting sick slash already was getting sick and now it's just kind of hitting everywhere Okay, it's just past midnight. Actually, it might be later than past midnight, but whatever. Uh, I barely read today. I listened to some of my audiobook. I'm now halfway through Exit West. I'm gonna be up early, so the chances of me reading some book tomorrow are like not today, are not very likely. Unless Tyler's cool with me ignoring him for a little bit with my headphones in or finishing that graphic novel. The graphic novel is probably gonna be easier to finish. Might do that instead. Hello, it is Valentine's Day and this guy is here. So I have done all of my reading like at three o'clock in the morning. I've read 86 pages and finished off uh, page for page, 114 pages to finish off Exit West, and I read 225 pages of Good Morning, Good Night by Lynn manuel Miranda. Page by page was okay. It was a three star book. Exit West I didn't really like. It's like a 2.5 star book. I just didn't get it and maybe it would have been easier if I had the physical copy but like I just I didn't get it and I didn't like the ending so I gave it 2.5 stars. And then Good Morning Good Night is just kind of like hi. It's like Lin-Manuel Miranda's tweets in a book and um basically like he'll be like good morning here's a little pep talk good night here's a little pep talk it was just cute and i listened to it and it was great now i've done all of that reading that's like over 300 pages today so that way i don't have to read when i'm at tyler's house happy valentine's day friendos so i guess i'm going to end the vlog here because i am not going to do any more reading today i've already read like 200 pages valentine's day so i'm spending it with tyler and his fam and so i'm not going to be doing any more reading tonight uh so i'm gonna end the vlog here so thank y'all so much for watching i hope this vlog is shorter than the last one and i hope you enjoyed it um i have now read 12 books this month already and it's only halfway through the month so stay tuned for more thank you so much for watching my booktube games vlogs i hope you're enjoying um, if you're curious about what I thought about any of the other books that I've read, let me know. Let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about in these vlogs. Uh, that is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next vlog. Happy reading and writing, friends. Bye! Darling, it's April.